Hello, hello. Jody here from Healing Journey. And today I'm going to be talking with you about a super cool topic that I have just come across that I'm absolutely fascinated by. And that is the topic of intergenerational trauma. Um, so, you know, as a therapist, I've thought about intergenerational trauma in one specific way, which is it's passed on through behavior and through action from generation to generation. But I've never thought of intergenerational trauma in this way. And so I'm actually going to be sharing with you the link between intergenerational trauma and birth trauma and your experiences of anxiety. And this actually could be a potential root cause. So as you know, if you've been following me for a while, my big thing is uncovering root causes of anxiety. So I'm not, um, you know, I look at things a little bit differently than medication, which looks at suppressing the symptoms. And so I want to uncover why is that anxiety existing for you? What are some of the reasons? And there can be lots of different reasons of anxiety. And this is something that I go through in my 12 week program called the holistic anxiety fix, where we actually start to like get to the underlying causes of why you have anxiety. And for some people, it's mindset. For some people, it is, you know, food. For some people, it's toxins. And for some people, it's a bit of both. And this, what I'm going to be talking about today, is another big chunk or piece of the root cause pie, which is um, understanding intergenerational trauma. This isn't necessarily actually something that I go into into my program. So it's a little bit of a sidebar to what I typically do. But when I discovered it, it was absolutely fascinating. So the way that um, this is presented is that actually trauma can be passed genetically and energetically through generations. And so what's fascinating is you don't actually have to be the person experiencing the trauma to have the trauma impact you. And so, you know, I know a lot of people are thinking, you know, genetically I've inherited the anxiety because my mom was anxious. So there absolutely is a genetic component to anxiety in that way, but this is actually a little bit different. And let me kind of share with you a couple of key things. So one of the key things they found is that there's actually a gene um, that if your mother was stressed, then you're more likely to inherit this gene and actually um, experience increased stress. So uh, other things that they found is they found connections between likelihood of PTSD and mothers or parents who also experience PTSD. So for example, Jewish people who experienced trauma during the Holocaust and their children, they share similar genetic pattern and then they compared this to Jews who lived outside of the circle of who the Holocaust affected, and they found that the pattern could only be attributed to trauma. You know, 30% of kids who had parents in the Iraq and Afghan wars developed PTSD and similar symptoms to their parents, even though they didn't necessarily go through the trauma. So when you're thinking about your own anxiety, some questions to ask yourself is, are there unspoken traumas that exist in my ancestral past that may have impacted my genetics and is then, you know, leading me to be more anxious. There's also some really interesting case studies that have been done about, you know, unresolved family history that's showing up in people's lives. And one of the really cool studies is not even a study, but a, a like a case study is this individual who, you know, he accidentally almost drove off the road when he was um, driving. And then what happened was he came home and he was like, oh my goodness, I'm super anxious and I'm really worried about my legacy. I'm super worried about my legacy. And so he became extremely anxious around this. 
And so he went to see a therapist and the therapist is like, this is weird. Like for a 26 year old to be concerned about your legacy, there's something else going on here. And so when they dove a little bit deeper, what they actually found is that his father and him had become estranged. And when his mother had, and his father had had a divorce, basically um, the mother changed his last name. And so the child no longer had the father's last name. And so the father had lost his legacy. And so here's a child sort of expressing the father's emotions. And so when this child reconnected with his father and spent time with him, this anxiety that had been triggered by this car incident went away completely. There are so many stories of this. There's a story of this gentleman who couldn't sleep through the night um, starting at age 19. He woke up with this panic and he couldn't sleep through the night at all. And he wondered, you know, why can't I sleep through the night? And he tried all of these things to sleep through the night and he couldn't. And he went to this specialist in intergenerational trauma. And what they found is that there was an uncle far up the line who had actually froze to death in the middle of the night. And so this gentleman was actually experiencing this unspoken family trauma as a way to resolve it. So obviously this isn't necessarily going to be uh, applicable to everybody, but I really wanted to bring it out as something that could be, you know, connected to your anxiety. The other piece is the birth trauma piece. And so, you know, if you are somebody who experienced, you know, loss um, during your own birth, if you've been separated from your mother, if you had failure to thrive, if you were a premature baby, basically what's gonna happen here is that your nervous system is gonna wire differently right from the start. And so you may have been wired to have an anxious nervous system from your birth, and then that would have impacted your development all throughout life. And so if you've had an anxious nervous system, you know, doing things like cognitive behavior therapy and even diet aren't necessarily going to be enough to resolve your nervous system issues. You're going to have to really work on techniques that are going to rewire your brain and rewire that nervous system because you've been sort of naturally adapted to have a very anxious nervous system. So these are all questions that you want to ask yourself. So what was my birth history like? Was I separated from my mom at birth? Are there unspoken traumas in my family's past history that haven't been resolved that may be impacting you? If you would like more information on like books to read that dive deeper into this, just put book in the comment and I will send you the book that I'm getting a lot of this information from because I think, you know, if you're listening to this and it's resonating for you, it means that it's a really an area you need to look into when you're healing your anxiety. If you're listening to this and you're like, mm, Jody, this isn't really fitting, then absolutely think about some of the other things that I talk about, which is, you know, diet change and mindset and things like that around anxiety. All right. Well, it was, I'm happy to have um, chatted with you today and join me next week for more lives.